Hi, I'm Jeff from TM Books and Video. Today I'm going to be opening the Lionel Ready to Run Hot Wheels set. This is the 684700 Hot Wheels Ready to Run Electric O Gauge train set. We received it in a master shipping carton, which makes it more fun to open because you see the packaging revealed, like when a curtain goes up. Hot Wheels has been a favorite toy for 50 years. Lionel is also a legendary toy, and they've been around for over 100 years. And these two iconic toy brands have come together to make an interesting train set. Many Lionel ready to run sets today are sealed in a plastic bag. Inside the box is a large styrofoam insert with components placed on both sides. The top side has the locomotive, so we'll take that out first. It's a GP38 diesel. The two blue straps make it easier to lift out the engine. You just have to remember to firmly grip both ends of both straps. Then remove the tissue paper. Finally, you need to carefully remove the three styrofoam inserts from behind the handrails. Next, we'll remove the caboose. It's a Southern Pacific type. Again, there's a sheet of tissue paper around it to protect the paint. A trailer decorated with Hot Wheels graphics will sit on a special flat car. The two Hot Wheel cars that came in this set are a 1957 custom Pontiac Firebird and a 1963 Chevy 2. The Lion Chief controller has markings that identify it with the Hot Wheels locomotive. You can also use a Lion Chief Universal Remote Controller and we'll soon demonstrate how to use a smartphone to run the train using the free Lion Chief app. The small white box has the special power pack and cord. We'll get to this later. After removing everything from the top side of the styrofoam insert, carefully turn the box over and lift it off of the insert. First, you'll see the instruction packet, which is a good idea to read if you've never assembled and operated a modern Lionel train set before. Here's the special spine car that carries the trailer. When it comes time to add the trailer, the post sits firmly in the pedestal of the car and the trailer wheels sit in the two wells on the sides. Now we'll remove the auto carrier car. This is based on an old Evans double deck auto carrier invented in the 1950s. Notice the clear plastic forms that can hold two Hot Wheel cars on each level. In the side, are two straight sections of track, giving us a glimpse of the unique fast track that comes exclusively with this set. It has orange ballast, a nod to the orange track system Hot Wheels uses to race cars around loops and turns. The rest of the track is in the plain brown box. In total, you should have eight sections of curved track, four sections of plain straight track, one special plug-and-play accessory power section, and one terminal power section. Sections of track are wrapped together in plastic. Remember to keep all plastic sheets and bags away from small children. The plug-and-play section has a square receptacle. The terminal power section has a round receptacle. You can create a few interesting track patterns with this assortment. An elongated oval, a fat oval, and, if you know your shapes, a parallelogram. The new track is stiff to assemble, but you want to make sure the sections tightly fit together and lock into place. We went with the fat oval. 
To assemble the track, line up the pins with the rails and firmly push the two sections together. Now we'll place the train on the track. Make sure all the flanges on the wheels ride on the inside of the outer rails. As each car is placed on the track, roll it along to make sure it runs smoothly. The cars are solidly built and have die cast trucks. Make sure the couplers are closed after the cars are connected. The locomotive is a big and heavyish diesel with metal railings. The locomotive is first, followed by the two cars, and finally the caboose. The caboose has an interior light. Now we'll open the little white box. Inside is the special power pack which should only be used for Lionel Lion Chief train sets. After the train is assembled on the track, you can add power to it. Insert the barrel connector into the round receptacle of the terminal track section. Plug the power pack into a wall outlet. You should see the small red light go on and hear the locomotive make a chirping sound. That means it's looking for a controller. The Lion Chief controller requires three AAA batteries. You'll need a small Phillips screwdriver to remove and reattach the back battery compartment panel. Make sure the dial is set to the 12 o'clock position and then turn on the controller. The chirping will stop and you'll hear the locomotive engine idling. Press any of the three sound activation buttons. There's a horn. Nice touch. It sounds like a car horn. Press the bell button to turn the ringing bell sound on and off. Activate the announcements by pressing the center button. There are different announcements for when the train is stopped or moving. To move the locomotive, turn the dial to the right to go forward and to the left to go backward. Return to the upright 12 o'clock position to stop. It's a very colorful set. If you have it on the floor, put your head down by the track and watch it as it rounds the corner. Whenever you're done running the train, always turn the remote off and unplug the power pack from the outlet. Running the train with your smartphone is fun and easy. Download the Lion Chief app and open it. Make sure your phone's Bluetooth is turned on. Leave the Lion Chief remote turned off. Then power up the layout. The app should find the locomotive and pair with it. Slide the throttle up and down with your finger. Press the sound buttons. To change direction, press the direction button. This is a fun train set, especially if you have a Hot Wheels collection. Now you have a big addition to your Hot Wheels world. We have two suggestions for Lionel. Because Orange Ballast Track is used, they should make an Orange Ballast Remote Uncoupling section, so operators can uncouple the cars. And because this set uses Hot Wheels cars, offer the Grade Crossing Flasher set with Orange Ballast. In the meantime, we'll have plenty of fun with this train. Are you ready to go the distance? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button. You'll know every time we upload a new segment.